All right. Good evening, Kevin. How are you? Hi, good evening. I'm fine. Oh, perfect. That's nice. You're doing well, so. Um, yeah, I don't know if I am mistaken, but only it's only you and me, right? <laughs> okay. Ya nos equivocamos de horario, right? <laughs> Quizás solo un problema porque yo tenía problemas para estar. Oh, really? ¿Y cuál, ¿Cuál problema? ¿El link o algo? ¿Cómo? Eh, no, como que estaba lento, no sé. Sí, en internet. Mm, ya. Sí, tal vez sea la plataforma. Ok, let me ask them. Ok. All right, um, but it done, in that case, we will start. Anyways, vamos a empezar de todas formas. Okay, Kevin, uh, let me share the screen, please. And, uh, okay, let's see. Let me see, give me a minute, please. Okay, today we are going to, I want to say six, right? three, we are going to study about object pronouns. Um, I remember that, let me see, ah, I don't remember the name. Uno de sus compañeros eh, preguntaba, ¿cómo podemos decir como pregúntele a él o... Dígale a él, ayúdele a él. Entonces, eh, in so many cases, we got confused. Um, but we are going to study object pronouns. So, no, yes. Okay. Perfect. Hey, yeah, we have Jenny here and Edwin. Perfect. ¿Estaban teniendo problemas? Sí. Eh, no, es que me agarro un poquitito en la tarde, pero ya está acá. Ok, nice, nice. It's ok. okay. Ah, ok, perfect. Sí, eh, Kevin me decía que, que había tenido algunos problemas eh, con, con el link. Entonces yo dije, bueno, quizás también están teniendo todos problemas, pero qué bueno que no es así. So let's get started today. Ok. Um, estaba diciendo que vamos a hablar, a estudiar acerca de object pronouns. Ok, I don't know if you have listened about it. ¿Han escuchado sobre los object pronouns? Ok, um, the previous classes, we were studying about Possessive adjectives. Do you remember? My car, my phone, your uh, name, your house, his girlfriend, his backpack, his shoes. Okay, estos ya los vimos. Positive adjectives. Cuando nosotros nos referimos um, a la posesión de alguien más. Okay, so pr object pronouns, o sea, los que están acá. Eh, normalmente siempre van después del verbo y es el que, el que indica la, que la acción va para esa persona. Ok, so in this case, uh, me, entonces si decimos me, la acción es para mí. Si decimos you, la acción es para, para ti. Si decimos him, el que recibe la acción es él. And her and is she, right? So, it's different. Subject pronoun 
es el que utilizamos al inicio de cada oración. I go to the park, you watch TV. Um, the object pronouns es el que recibe la acción. Y va después del verbo. And the positive adjective eh, is when we talk about um, items that are, belong to another person. Como artículos que pertenecen a otra persona. So, uh, for example, see... Here. Ok, object pronoun. Acá tenemos la diferencia. For example, what do you think of me? ¿Qué piensas de mí? Ok, yo estoy recibiendo la acción. In this case, I love you a lot. Te amo demasiado o te quiero demasiado. You. Está recibiendo mi acción. You. Ok, I give it or give it to him. Dáselo a él. Give it. Dale eso a él. Ok, estamos hablando de él. Ask her, please. Eh, pregúntale a ella, por favor. Uh, let me see. Say it. Dilo de nuevo. Say it again. Take a picture with us. Eh, toma, toma una foto con nosotros. And I miss them. Los extraño a ellos. Ok, we have I, adjective pronoun, me. You is the same, you. He, him, she, her, it, it, it's the same. We, us, and they. Them. Okay, for example, if we want to say, uh, ayúdelos a ellos, ayúdele a ellos, we say, help them. Help them. Ellos están recibiendo la acción de ayuda en este caso. Okay, y los possessive adjective se diferencian porque estamos hablando de la posesión de alguien más. My, my house is white. O sea, mi casa. I like your outfit. Me gusta tu outfit. Ok, tu, tu forma de vestir. La, la forma en la que andes vestido hoy. His name is Alex. El, el nombre de él es Alex. She likes her backpack. A ella le gusta su mochila. Estamos hablando de la mochila de ella. It hurts with its hooves. Let me see hooves. Yeah, hooves, I think. It is. So, eh, eso lastima con sus pezuñas. O sea, las pezuñas de eso. Eh, puede ser un animal, right? That is our camera. Esa es nuestra cámara. And those are their pants sus lapiceros. Ok, uh, do you have a question? Lo único que, que, podremos hacer, que podríamos hacer, lo indicado sería que nosotros repasemos esta tablita hasta que se nos grabe. Ok, if you want to take a, a picture uh, and a screenshot, it would be awesome. Sería genial que tomaran, pues, eh, captura de esto. Para que no se nos olvide. Porque a veces como que solemos olvidarlo o confundirlo. Ok. In this case, I have an, a little exercise here. Let me see. Ok. For example, I love. Y tenemos acá los que reciben la acción. Me, eh, you, him, her. For example, in this case, I love me. Mm, podría ser me amo, right? I, in this case, sería... I love myself. Me amo a mí misma. But imagine that we have here. She. Okay. Okay. She loves. Remember? The I. The S. Because it's simple present. Estamos hablando de algo eh, en simple present. 
Okay, she loves. In this case, ¿cómo sería ella me ama? Eh, let me see, Edwin, ¿cómo sería? Ella me ama. Let me see. Ella me ama. Con los objective pronouns. Uh, I'm sorry, object pronouns. Hello, hello, Edwin. What's up? What's going on? Eh, no sé. Ah, sí. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're driving, right? No, pero intentémoslo. She, uh, she loves me. She me, loves right? me. Uh -huh, exactly. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Continue driving. No, pero she loves right. me. Okay, thank you, thank you, Edwin. Yeah, that's right. Uh, drive safe, please. Eh, let me see. She loves me. Okay, that's right. Um, in this case, Kevin, how would it be? Ella te ama. She loves you. Uh -huh, she loves you. Okay. You. It, uh -huh. Tú estás recibiendo la, la acción, right? Ella te ama. Eh, Jenny, ¿cómo sería ella lo ama a él? She loves him. Mm -hmm, exactly. She loves him. Quien está recibiendo la acción es él. In this case, she loves, uh, ¿cómo sería ella la ama a ella? Eh, César, how would it be? Ella la ama a ella. Los object pronouns. No César here. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who wants to answer that? She loves? She loves her. Her. Perfect. Thank you. She loves her. A ella, right? Eh, ¿Cómo sería ella? Ella ama eso. She loves it. It. Mm -hmm. That's right. She loves it. ¿Cómo sería ella nos ama a nosotros? She loves or us in this case us. Remember, we are here in object pronoun. Us. She loves us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ella nos ama a nosotros. And we have the last one. Ella los ama a ellos. She loves them. Them, right? Thank you so much. She loves them. Uh -huh. So, um, no me recuerdo. Parece que, let me see, I don't remember the name of the, of him. Ah, pero uno de sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Me, me preguntaba, ¿cómo le puedo ayudar a ella? It's like, can I help him? Uh, let's, let me see, a ella o a él, no me recuerdo. Pero si era a ella, can I help her? ¿Puedo ayudarla a ella? ¿Ok? Nos estamos refiriendo a ella. Ella está recibiendo la acción. So, eh, solo quería enfatizar en eso por si viene en el, en el examen. I was going to say en el parcial. <ríe> por si viene en el examen. Ok, you already know that. Ok. Do you have a question so far? Any questions? ¿Alguna duda que tengan? Everything is clear. All right, perfect. Okay, we have here um, a pronunciation area. So I will play a video in order to, to practice a little bit. So there we have. Let's pay attention. 
I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay, I will play it one more time in order to practice the pronunciation. It's when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay. In this case, excuse me. Tenemos acá el, el, la señal que vamos a elevar un poco la pronunciación. Acá vamos a, a remarcar más la pronunciación. Excuse me. It's not like, excuse me. O sea, hay, hay una leve diferencia. Excuse me. Ok. They're perfect. Perfect. I like the blue one. Ok. Una, eh, hacer un énfasis. The blue one. It's not like, I like the blue one. No, right? I like the blue one. It's not like that. I like the blue one. Okay? They are not very attractive. They are not very attractive, right? They are not very attractive. It's not like that. So we have here, I want you to please um, repeat. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. They are perfect. They are perfect. Uh -huh, exactly. I like the blue one. I like, I like the, the blue, blue one. one. Mm -hmm. They are not very attractive. They are not very attractive. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right. Okay. Muy bien. Bien, ahora... Eh, Hemos visto acerca de that, this, these, those, um, los demonstrative pronouns, right? So here we have a, a little conversation between us. For example, I want you to practice this. Tenemos acá como una tienda. Imagine that it is uh, in a store. Tenemos una tienda donde venden. Eh, celulares, libros, eh, mochilas, zapatos y vestidos. Ok, so, um, va a ser una conversación entre dos. Por ejemplo, vamos a, a preguntar el precio de lo, o sea, de lo que usted quiera. How much is that dress? Eh, o si lo quiere hacer eh, en plural, en singular, lejos, cerca... Eh, es como para, para que nosotros practiquemos. So, the other person will answer which one. ¿Cuál? Right? And we say the color. For example, which, which one. And we are talking about book. Estamos hablando de los libros. Y yo quiero el, el, el rojo. The red one. ¿Ok? Y vamos a darle un precio a eso. In this case, imagine it would be, it is $5. Okay, and we say it's so expensive, it's so cheap. Eh, recuerdo que la vez, la clase anterior, eh, hicimos una práctica así, pero yo era la vendedora, right? So now you will be um, the seller. Ahora ustedes van a ser los vendedores. Okay, voy a, a dar como un minutito para que internalicemos. 
Okay, the shoes. Remember that is for singular and it is far. This is for singular and it is near to me. I can touch the object, right? Those are for plurals and it's far. Está lejos those. And this está cerca, pero es plural. Okay, so internalicemos. Acá tenemos books, phone, shoes, and backpacks. Okay, who wants to be the, the first volunteer? Tengo, bueno, necesito a dos. Dos in this case. Si, no, si se equivoca, no hay problema. No se preocupe porque estamos para aprender. Estamos para aprender y para practicar lo que hemos estudiado en clase. Imagine if we don't practice here. Where do we practice? Donde más practicamos, right? A veces ya no practicamos en el resto de la semana. So I want a volunteer. Two, only two. Let's see, let's see. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Wells. Tenemos un valiente acá, Kevin. All right. It's easy, it's easy. Only Kevin ha we have here. Voluntario. Okay, Jenny. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jenny. Um, so let's get started. Eh, no sé, elijan quién va a ser eh, el primero. Y quién va a ser, bueno, quién va a ser el que el que vende y quién va a ser el que compra. Elija ahí. Hola, hola. Yo el vendedor. Okay. You are the seller. Okay. So, it's start, please. Uh, let me see. No, no, no. Tiene que empezar Jenny. Ok. How much, how much is that? Hoy tengo que decir uno de los artículos. Sí. Okay. Wherever you want. That shoe that phone, that backpack. Ah, Jenny. Hello, hello. Okay, maybe Jenny se le acabó la conexión. Okay, we don't have Jenny here. <laughs> Let me see. Another volunteer. Come on, guys, come on.
Okay, we don't have volunteer here. Uh, Kevin, okay, I will start. How much is that? Let me see, is that dress? Which one? Um, the green one. It is $25. Oh, really? Mm, it's so expensive. So I don't like it. Thank you. All right. Perfect. <laughs> gracias, gracias. Muy bien. Así, así de, de fácil, right? Para cuando vayamos allá a, a New York, ya sepamos. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to study materials. Tenemos acá eh, materiales de, eh, de artículos. Leather, cuero. Leather, silver, it's plata. Gold, es oro. Rubber, we have rubber, es um, hule. Rubber, cotton, cotton. Wool, lana, a cotton is um, algodón, cotton. Wool, lana, and silk. Silk. All right, sería como le, la, la tela. Ay. Let me remember. How is that? La tela, silk. Like a seda, seda, seda. Seda, it is in Spanish. So, um, here we have this example or this exercise. What are these uh, things made of? Identif identify each one, use the words from the list. Okay, in this case, oh, okay. In this case, um, we have a plastic bracelet here. Bracelet. Um, I'm sorry, un brazalete de plástico. So, let me see. Ring. Which one is the material of the ring? Gold. Yeah, gold. A gold ring. A gold ring. Okay, let me write it down here. A gold ring. Gold ring. In this case, um, tie, una corbata. How would it be? Cotton. Cotton. Mm, let me see, cotton. No, be, because we have a, a shirt here that is made of cotton. So, is um silk de seda okay una corbata de seda silk we have also here socks los calcetines socks which is the material in this case Okay, it is wool. Wool. It is made of wool. Está hecho de lana. Okay. In this case, we have a jacket here. Jacket, remember? ¿Cuál es el cuero aquí? Eh, César, ¿cuál es el cuero? How would it be? It Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Okay. Um, is, uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el cuero? El cuero. El leather. Leather, right? Leather. Leather. Mm -hmm. leather. Perfect. A leather jacket. Una chaqueta de cuero. Uy. Leather jacket. That's right. Nice. Okay. Now we have 
uh, let me see, a shirt. Una camisa, in this case, it would be cotton. Cotton, perfect. Cotton. Then we have earrings. Silver. Silver, right? Thank you so much. Silver earrings. And the last one, how would it be? You remember? Rubber. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Rubber. Okay. Um, estaba viendo el chat y parece que Altagracia no se podía unir, ¿verdad? Pero ya le mandaron el link, so thank you so much. Okay. That's right. So, a plastic bracelet, a gold ring, a silk tie, wool sock, socks, uh, a, le a leather jacket, a cotton shirt, silver earrings, and rubber boots. Okay. So, now, for example, we have how much are those t-shirts? How much are those t-shirts? For example, we can say the Greek ones are $18. What about the yellow ones? The yellow ones, imagine that is $25. The, the yellow ones are $25. And we have here another question that is so important uh, when we want to buy items. What size are you? We have a medium, small, and large. Okay. El mediano, el pequeño, y el largo, ¿verdad? Que, eh, o sea, en nuestro caso sería como M, S, y L, ¿verdad? So here we have medium, small, and large. Así que cuando nos pregunten, ¿cuánto o cuál, cuál es tu talla? What size are you? I wear, yo visto, in this case, este verbo sería yo visto, medium, small, and large. Okay, so which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? Acá tenemos, eh, este se puede utilizar, este one se puede utilizar como una opción. Which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? Okay, we have jackets here. <clears throat> I'm sorry. We have uh, some jackets. For example, um, let me see. Yeah. Jacket. This is a leather jacket. Este es un, uh, una chaqueta de cuero. A jacket made of denim. Uh, let me see. A jacket made of leather. Una chaqueta hecha de cuero. A jacket made of leather. leather. And we have here a denim. El jeans, ¿verdad? Que nosotros lo conocemos como jeans. Okay, in this case, it would be a jacket made of denim. Y esa es la diferencia. De cuero, o sea, el material es lo que es la diferencia. Okay, so for example... Um, si nos están preguntando cuál preferimos, obviamente que vamos a responder con I prefer jackets made of denim, for example, or jackets made of leather. Okay. Perfect. Hey, Altagracia, how are you? How are you today, Altagracia? Okay, maybe she's not listening to me right now. Creo que está conectando, right? Okay. All right. Okay. We have here um, one 
exercise about demonstrative. Solamente quiero esperar que Altagracia pueda, pueda acceder al audio. Hola, hola, Alta Gracia. ¿Nos escucha? Ya, yeah. vamos. Hola, hola, Alta Gracia. ¿Nos escucha? Hola. Hola. Ok, perfecto. Hola, hola. hola. Hasta ahorita me pude conectar. Ok, no hay problema. No hay problema at all. Perfect. Eh, estaba teniendo problemas, Alta Gracia. Eh, me sacaba, no, no podía ingresar, incluso hasta les pedí la clave porque pensé que eso era el problema, pero no, no pude, traté en el teléfono, no pude y volví otra vez a la computadora. Y okay. ahorita sí no pude. <risa> ok, ahora <risa> sí, mire, qué bueno. Ok, let's see. Let make a, let's make a practice here about demonstrative pronouns. Eh, for example, bien, acá, si tenemos lejos las sillas, chairs, y son plural, ¿cómo sería? Quiero escucharlos a todos, those, that, these, chairs, in this case, ¿cómo sería? Uh -huh. Those. Those cheers. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Those cheers. Eh, okay. Cesar, how would it be, Cesar? It's far in our plural. How would it be? Cesar, Cesar, are you there? Ok, creo que no está allí César. Ok, Alta Gracia. ¿Cómo sería? ¿Está ¿Sí? lejos? Uh -huh. ¿Están lejos? Um, sería dos. Those books, right? No. Those are books. Those, those are, are books. books. Those are books. Uh -huh. Ajá. Um, Kevin, in that case. That. that is a book. Okay, thank you. Keys. Las llaves. Keys. How would it be? ¿Cómo sería en este caso? These. These are keys. Mm -hmm. no. And this one? These are books. Is the D, this? Is this. Uh -huh. this is a book. Perfect. Thank you, Kevin. This is a book. Uh, Altagracia. ¿Cómo sería en este caso? Pen, and it is singular, and it is far. Ah, es singular y está, eh, está lejos, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Sería that. That is a pen. Perfect. That is a pen. Mm -hmm. En este caso está lejos y, so, y es plural. So, it is. Those. Those oh, pens. Are. Mm -hmm. Those are pens. Thank you. In this case, están cerca. This are pen. Ajá. Eh, remember, la pronunciación de, de singular es this, this, more than e, this. And this. The, the other one, ajá, uh -huh, thank you. The other one is these, these pens. These are pens. Thank you, Cesar. Ajá, uh -huh, Cesar, in this case, is for 
singular. That, that hat. Thank you. Thank you. That is a key. That is a key. Uh huh. Chair. Chair. That is a chair. Okay. Acá está más cerca. Chair. This is a chair. This is a chair. Perfect. Pen. Pen. This is a pen. This is a pen. Keys. Están lejos. That is a key. Remember hat. Remember those because those those plural. Mm -hmm. Dos. Y está lejos. Those and Dos. the last one. Books. This. This. Yes. Mm -hmm. This. These are books. This. All right. Nice. Nicely done. Nicely, nicely done. Perfect. Okay, we have the wrap up here. Um, describe your favorite item, the color the material was made of, the price, and why do you like it? Okay, y vamos a elegir uno de estos, o puede ser chaqueta, puede ser um, blusa, camisa, puede ser um, jeans, pantalones. Whatever you want. Ok, lo vamos a describir. Eh, vamos a describir el accesorio. Eh, nuestro accesorio favorito, el color que es. Y el material del que está hecho. El precio y por qué nos gusta. Eh, parece que, me parece que el, ciclo, el, el curso pasado vieron cómo se responde why, ¿verdad? Why es por qué, pero en pregunta en how is the answer? ¿Cómo es la respuesta Because. que da? Uh, can you repeat it, please, Kevin? Because. Because, right? Because. Mm -hmm. So, no sé si me comprenden. Voy a, a quiero ver. Ok, voy a poner. Let me see. A esto. Um, esta porque Altagracia no estaba, right? Ok. So, Altagracia, un, así un pequeño repaso. Dice que sería plastic, plástico, gold, oro, silk, sería eh, seda, la, la tela, ¿verdad? La tela de seda. Acá por acá tenemos otro. Seda sería esta. Uh -huh. Rubber, el plástico, como por ejemplo las botas de plástico. Rubber. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Wool sería um, Oro. Uh, eh, la lana. Wool. Wool. De cotton, el algodón, como por ejemplo las camisas de algodón. And leather es el cuero. Cuero. Ok. Gracias, Jorge. Ok, perfect. Gracias. Now it's your time to describe these items. So I will give you a couple of minutes in order to finish that activity. Okay. Okay. If you have a question, just let me know.
Okay, solamente voy a dejar de compartir un momentito ya ahorita. Ahorita, ahorita lo pongo. Okay. Sí. Siempre ven la, la presentación, ¿verdad? ¿Se ve la presentación? Ya. Yeah. Ok.
All right, I want you to please um, use your creativity. For example, I have a plastic bracelet or I have a gold uh, or gold earrings. I have gold earrings and those are my favorites because um, my mom has ones like that, for example. Um, let me see. What else do I ask for? The price. They are, for example, fifteen dollars, and the color is blue, or they are blue earrings made of silver, for example, silver, plata, or plástico, we don't know, On, or in, if in this case you choose the jacket or you choose socks. Okay. Also, where did you buy it, for example? ¿Dónde los compraron? In this case. All right. Two more minutes. All right. Alta gracia, you already finished. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, queremos escuchar Alta gracia. Do it, please. Vamos a ver. Do it. Uh, the watch, my watch, his color is gray and black. Was made of silver and leather. This this is 100. I like it. It is very nice. And um, I go to work on time. And um, um, it was a gift the past Christmas. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. No, puedo pronunciar muy bien. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you did it perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. It was a gift the, the past Christmas, right? Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. And that's so expensive. It's, it's pasta. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. That's Gracias. awesome. Gracias. Uh, let me see. Kevin. Kevin, did you finish or not yet? Cesar? Come on. Come on, boys. Vamos a ver. It is made of leather, silk, wool. <clears throat> Let's see, no Kevin, no Cesar. Okay, um, en mi zona está lloviendo. Yo creo que quizás por eso, ¿verdad? Está fallando el internet. No sé, Altagracia, en su zona está lloviendo. Sí, está lloviendo, por eso no podía ingresar porque el internet es un poco eh, malo en este momento. Inestable, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. sí me imagino. De igual forma, lo, los demás creo que han tenido bastante problema sí, con eso. Toda la zona está lloviendo, yo vivo por mexicano. 
Ok. Sí, entonces probablemente sí. ¿Es eso? Ok. Uh, Kevin and Cesar, are you there? You there, there. Yo tengo dos pantallas. <ríe> sí, así estaba. Así es estaba que como él es, trataba de ingresar, yo creo que es el teléfono, ¿eh? Sí. <ríe> es que sí, ingresé con el teléfono entonces. Ah. <ríe> y como lo tengo en la mesa, veía otra pantalla y otro nombre. Voy a ver si lo tengo. <ríe> <ríe> All right. Ok. So perfect. Ok. Uh, vamos a dejar la, la clase hasta acá. Ok, time, okay. Is, time is up. And um, solo en, en, el, en el caso de que Altagracia pueda ver la, la clase completa, it would be awesome, ¿verdad? Para que no, no se pierda mucho. Okay. 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 So, perfect. Gracias, Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Me. And See take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Gracias, mi. Thank you. De nada, de nada. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.